one of the questions people always ask is, who is affected by this disease? What age group? What populations? Um, you know, who are at risk? Uh, the bottom line is it's very, very hard to predict. We know from our research here that there are certain populations of folks that are more at risk than others. And this has been well published both by our group and by others, looking at kids who have a family history of Moya Moya, a history of uh, cardiac uh, problems or cardiac surgery in the past, congenital cardiac abnormalities, uh, Down syndrome, um, patients who have had neurofibromatosis, people who have been previously treated for brain tumors in the region of the blood vessels or have had radiation to that region. Um, and certainly a big uh, population that we're learning about uh, very actively now are children with sickle cell disease who have strokes. Uh, and we know that there's a wonderful treatment with transfusion therapy that the hematologists have done a great job. Uh, but we know within that group there's a tiny subpopulation that continue to get strokes despite transfusion therapy. And we know that those are folks that really are very well treated, we think, by surgery. Um, the age is all over the map, uh, and we see it both in kids and in adults. Uh, generally, uh, it tends to be more in the 5 to 10 year old range. One of the problems is in very young kids, it's often difficult for them to communicate that they're having stroke-like symptoms. And so it's hard for parents or physicians to know or understand that there's something uh, amiss. Uh, and one of the challenges we face as uh, treating clinicians is to try to get these diagnoses done in a timely fashion because what's been shown is that the earlier you can diagnose these patients and get them the treatment, the better their uh, lifelong outcome is. Uh, so those are the types of folks we know that are affected. Uh, and the big risk factor, if you have any question about having strokes in kids without approximate cause, it really behooves you to think about this and, and try to get an opinion to see if there's something going on that can be treated.